Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for third party new ages take on Starscream. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and tutorial video and the review is separately uploaded. Also bear with me, this is quite a small and intricate little figure and I wanna make this as detailed as possible. So what we'll do then, we'll start off with just literally separating the wings from there like so. You'll see this little tab will come out like so then what we'll do is we'll take what's going to be the waist it's pretty much where the back of the jet joins the middle bit and just slightly pull that down just to separate this to give you a tiny bit of clearance now with the legs right i'm going to stick with the legs for now then so i'm going to separate there i'm going to take these feet which you can see which land underneath fold these out and then to be honest the legs are really intricate they are quite clever so what we're going to do we're going to take this part here lift it all the way up what you're going to then do is you're going to fold the tail over and underneath itself like so then what you're going to do you're going to separate it from there this tiny little tab and what you can then do is lift it up via that ball onto the top of the back of the ankle now what this is going to do this is going to rotate all the way around as well see this extra tab so you can either take it from this side and then once you've done that what we need to do is bring this back around so keep turning that all the way around so you've 180 degree turn that then what you need to do is bring this tail up and over here and what it'll do you'll see it will fit nicely into this space there like so via that tab this will fold over it like so as well and then this will sit on the back of it like that so it just tucks everything in nice and snug there so we'll have another go doing it this way seeing if we can make it a bit easier for you to see we're going to lift this up i'm going to fold this over and what we're going to do we're going to push this in here you'll see that this will now spin around as this is spinning around keep turning the blue tail fin that's this is probably the easy way actually keep turning this and then bring this around over there so again it's all still fitting underneath then what we're going to do we're going to fold this under like so and if this has just got slightly caught which it has it's on a ball so you can just literally move it over there we go and again fold this line it up to the space and to the size that you've got cut out there fold this over and back on itself and then that will fit via the tab on there it's just out of position because i didn't check the other side so all we're going to do straighten that up and then that will nice and easily fit over and then of course fold the feet out so that is your legs as i say that's probably the most intricate part to be fair right then we're going to come to the arms so if you take hold of these and very carefully just separate this little blue tab from there and pull this out Again, everything is on a ball and socket, so it's relatively easy to pull out and extend and just turn it out of the way. Same with this side, so bring it out and stretch it right up and out of the way for now. Turn our attention to the back. There's a teeny little tab here. Fold this completely out of the way. Then take the whole nose cone, bring it down. The head, which is going to be this, is on a completely separate part. You can rotate this all the way around, 180 degrees like so. So you've got the head in line with the cockpit. Then this, I suppose, is quite intricate as well, to be fair, but very clever. Take the nose comb, fold it in half and fold it over on itself. And then, in fact, let's do all this on the other side. So turn this, let's bring this through here first. So we've brought that back around. We don't wanna do too much because you won't get it back through there. So we've done the nose comb. These parts here now are gonna be the front of the chest. This is very clever. This also is quite tricky. So it's on a ball and socket. It's not on a, it's on a slider. So you can turn these in and out. So what I'm looking to do is, I'm trying to show you it. So we can see there, we're looking to bring this round to the side whilst turning it in like this. There you go, it's just folded over on itself. Same as that, that's what we wanted to do. So once it's folded over on itself, you can twist this Pull them out to the side see that there's the chest so now all we've got to do is fold the nose cone right underneath like this and then this will come over like so and fit into this section that we've just opened out there there you go bring that down line all that up now when it comes to the arms ball and socket joint turn the orientation to the top close the forearms up bring it down turn it around so you've got the bicep flexion at the front, which is there. So let's bring that down. And then if you need to, turn the fists around as well. Same for this side, to so bring it down, close the forearm up, 
like so. Oops, as he knocks everything. Keep the arms just out of the way for a second though, so you can take the wings, turn this around, close that little flap. That dot will fit into their tab, shall we say. Close these up on the back and bring the feet around. Correct however you want the position to be, so you can bring the arms back down. That should tab in there, there we go. And indeed, if you wanted to, oh, there we go. You can then adjust these slightly forward as well. So as I say, quite intricate for a small figure. Right then, let's take him back to his jet mode. This is slightly easier because you're just gonna, of course, be, um, I suppose, taking everything out and unfolding it all. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the front chest piece, bring these forward and then separate, lift up the nose cone. As we do this, we can fold the nose cone all the way out. If that happens, no issues whatsoever. There you can see where it's going to attach. And if people are wondering why I've kept this in, I just want obviously you guys to be reassured that if it happens to you, it's not too detrimental. A lot of these figures, they are really intricate. And they, there you go, you hear that clip back in. They've got ball and sockets or simple attachments like that to put back. Let's fold the nose cone back over like so, just to connect it all together. It's probably my heavy hands, to be honest. So that's in line. Then what you've got to do with this, you've got to fold it in and over itself and over there like so. So what we did, it's on the outside, fold it in, over on itself and tuck there. So then we'll take the back, we'll separate via that tab, lift up the wings, move these completely out of the way, open up the red tabs as well, bring this down. And then what we're gonna do is lift up this little tab here as well. This means again, we can now take the nose cone over, we can rotate the head back 180 degrees. What you're looking to do is just line up the cockpit. This will all spin around. So what you've got to do is line up all the cockpit, bring that down and we'll just rest that there to be honest. Snap these back up if you brought them down and to be honest we can close that as well. We'll come to the arms, in fact we'll do the arms now. So what you're looking to do, if I move the wings totally out of the way so we can see what we're doing, this little tab here is going to fit into there. So what you've got to do, you can open up the forearm and this is good because what this means you can do is you can condense it over itself. So you're just going to shorten the length of the arm. So if we open up that and then if we bring this around and up like so. So you see how we've shortened the length of the arm and that tab will fit in there. We've also now got this large blue tab that's going to fit into the other corresponding arm. So same principle. Let's open up the forearm like so. Bring this. Let's get the orientation right. So we're looking to bring this over and on itself that tab's going to go in there and then as i say we've got a big cut out there and a large tab there so what we're going to do we're going to bring this in underneath here like so same with this so now we're going to try and line these tabs up at the same time this will come over now i don't know if you can see in that gap there we go that's lined up and that's that part and you can extend the landing gear if you want to as well Let's turn our attention to the feet then. So I'm just gonna bring the wings down just for now. They're opened up, which is good. So with the wings, the tail fins rather, because we just folded and tucked everything away, all we've got to do is unfold everything like this. Let's bring it out of here. It did all neatly all tuck away in there. It's quite clever to be honest. So extend it all the way out. And then you remember it's this part here, what we've got to rotate around the full. 180 degrees. So I'm going to turn it that way so it doesn't get in the way. Move the tail fin out of the way and bring it over and around. So this is what we're turning around. That's turning around like so. And I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. I need to turn the blue back like so. This will fold over, over that tab, and then this will come down. And then, of course, you can close this off, hide it all, and fold the feet in. So what we're looking at doing is opening up this, lifting out the wing like so, spreading it all out. You can see you've got the ball and socket there. So as we turn this around, this is a better way of doing it. Bring the, this part around, allow this to come all the way around as well. Once it's on the top, fold it over. There's a tiny little tab there for you to tap that in. Close this down, fold the tail wing out, join these two together like so that's pretty much ready fold the foot over if you've knocked it back out keep these parts out bring this down line up them once you've lined up them push it all down make sure you slide this just slightly up to fit in there and then the last bit you need to do is make sure the legs are pushed in so that tab will go into the second slot there and 
there you go. As I say, small, intricate, but clever. Hope this helps. Take care.